people get so obsessed with you know this gratification of you know these taps and likes and it does make you feel good that's the thing but you've got to be aware of the fact that it's 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 empty isn't it it's someone liking your face a picture that you've done or you know a pose or whatever and then people get too obsessed with that and it becomes like a sense of self-worth doesn't it and that's 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 bizarre that's something that human you know human culture has never really been like it's never really had to deal with before it's such a new thing that I don't think we know how to regulate it and I think this generation is going to be the technologically ill at the moment not being close to nature and having time to relax is like the biggest emotional struggle but it's not usually a problem because I usually have it all the time I'm trying to think about what are my other emotional struggles. Boys. <laughs> Just worrying unnecessarily about upsetting people, about time, having enough time. I worry about my friends and I worry that they're okay. That's a lot of worries. <laughs> I still have to think about what, I, what, what emotional struggles would mean. I have a lot of social anxiety, mm -hmm. and then I have um, health anxiety as something. Mm -hmm. but I don't know if that is related to the social sphere, but a majority of the anxiety is centered around worrying about health. Your heart isn't yours. No. Oh, it is now, but... Oh, wow. I didn't know that. You didn't? No. Mm. Oh, yeah, I had a heart transplant. When you were long, young? Yeah, five weeks old. If I'm sick, it's like, well, I guess I'm dying. I don't think that my health anxiety and my social anxiety are completely related. It's just two, I don't know, lines of thought that are always there. What is your relationship to technologies? Hmm. <laughs> way too... We're way too close right now. I don't like it. <laughs> I think it's really central at the moment because of like the university setting and that's very much based around emails. The projects are based around emails and social media and then the studies is all based around Moodle and Turnitin and emails. So, like, it's really central at the moment. I feel like it's like um, like a pet that's attached, like a parrot on my shoulder, and it, or a dummy, your pacifier. You can't be without it, but it's really nice when it's not there. And to just allow time to happen and to meet people by coincidence mm. and to meet people in the moment and in the flow is, like... It's really nice, because it feels like it's more meant to be than it's coordinated.
In the society we have now, I view things like smartphones as like a extension of the self. It's an extension of your being. And so in a way I'm able to be in two worlds at once because even though I have to deal with, you know, the physical world right here, I can still be, you know, reading other things or in conversations with who knows who uh, around the world. So do you think that technology helps you with your social anxiety? Well, one, it's a mode of enhancement, so it enhances my ability to socialize. It enhances my expression, because it's where I post art or where I would be able to write, you know, if I was in the mood to write. And so, without the internet, there's like no medium for me to even begin to waste my time meeting people. Being able to, one, enter the social sphere, stay there, uh, maintain conversation. I don't know, there have been a lot of social events here and it is uh, very stressful for me because I just stand there and I don't know. I'm not, I, I, socialization is very hard for me. Initiating conversation is hard. I am more social online and so it is an other medium or another plane of existence to uh, to, to be in. It's hard to differentiate between what's like uni and just feeling overwhelmed and what's technology. Like recently I noticed that I have sore eyes from looking at a computer a lot. So I definitely feel like physical effects of it. And um, do you feel like technology has some good aspect to it by being able to communicate with um, your friends who are further away mm. and things like that. Do you think that contributes to um, your happiness? Yeah, definitely. Like, to be able to stay in touch with people who are further away is really joyful. And then as an artist as well, it's really great as a platform and a way to share your media and connect. And I'm using it a lot in that sense to reach out for collaboration across the globe, you're not restricted. And I feel like that's pretty cosmic. For the most part, I would say I don't try to balance it because I view it as an extension of myself and it is just part of my daily existence and so I would say the best is you know putting the phone in airplane mode like if I had like a good battery I would never put my phone on airplane mode I'd be connected at all times I check my phone before doing anything you know you go to bed the last thing you do is check your phone which has its negatives because it definitely contributes to insomnia I'm on my phone for like two, three hours mm. instead of actually sleeping. So I would say there's almost never a moment where technology is completely devoid in my daily existence. Uh, technology like never leaves me. So technology, especially if we're talking about smartphones, is it is a it's a new I guess realm to the human experience and a new way that humans can be talking to so many more people at once than the physical limitations of our body and our like immediate surrounding. I think it is a positive thing in the end. People complain and think that it's like bogging us down or we aren't living in the moment, but they never stop to think that like maybe the internet is also a moment to be lived or that I think it's done more positive than good and even if it hasn't, there's no way it's going the way now, so you might as well try to shape it into a positive because you, with the society that we live at now and the global scale of things, it's nearly impossible without like a huge catastrophe to just stop using this technology altogether.